want to address when they come back to Raleigh next week. Republicans say they want more answers from Governor Cooper's administration about why the state ranks among the slowest. CBS 17's Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live at the legislative building in Raleigh. Michael, the pandemic is going to dominate most of what happens there in the next few months. Right, I talked here today with Republican House Speaker Tim Moore, and he said the governor activating the National Guard for the vaccine rollout is a good step, but there is pressure to do more. As people line up to get limited doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, the numbers show the rollout is slower in North Carolina than in most states. The CDC says only about a quarter of doses distributed here have actually gone to people. Those vaccines are too rare to be wasted in any way whatsoever. I talked to Republican House Speaker Tim Moore Thursday. He said when lawmakers come back to Raleigh next week, they'll question officials in Governor Roy Cooper's administration about why the rollout is slower than expected. That needs to happen because the resources are there. We've appropriated enough money to do it. More said he got a report of some doses being discarded when people in phase 1A declined to get the shots instead of making them available to others, but he didn't give specifics. That's outrageous. Where did that happen? Uh, it was in another part of the state. Uh, we're getting some information on it right now, but that should not happen. Democratic Senator Wiley Nichols says he's been frustrated by the limited availability. The governor is doing all he can. He just activated the National Guard to help with vaccine distribution. The, you know, the governor and all of his staff are, are are virtually singularly focused. Republicans spent much of the last session trying to lift some of the restrictions Cooper put in place, but Cooper vetoed those bills. Moore says he'll revisit that. He thinks the law should be clear that the governor needs the consent of the Council of State, the group of 10 statewide elected officials. No one governor, Republican, Democrat, whatever, uh, should have the power to shut the economy down to such an extent that we, that we saw done in the past. This is not a one-party system. They need to work with Senate Democrats and they need to work with Governor Cooper. Moore said he does not think the vaccine should be mandated to the broad population, but he did point out the state does require different vaccines for school-aged children, and he thinks this should fall in line with that if the vaccine is proven through clinical trials to be safe and effective for children. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.